Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to make for you a zucchini quiche. There's so many different varieties with the Bisquick recipe. I asked somebody for the recipe the other day and they said, oh it's great, you just go online and I've made it a few times and I keep changing it around. But the one I'm going to make today, it has, uh, I'm going to grease, a, that's a, eight and a, a 9 by 11 pan. I'm going to use 5 eggs. Yo will give you these ingredients anyway. I'm going to use a half a cup of oil one cup of Bisquick, a quarter cup of sour cream. This is the zucchini that I already, and I did this with this, this is great, this ninja little thing. And um, basically what I found, this is about a seven inch cucumber, um, zucchini, seven inch zucchini. But you can, only the little ones are tender, it's about a cup. So it kind of gives you an idea if you buy four or five of these. If you have more zucchini than the four cups, it's not going to be a big difference. This already has three cups. I um, started to chop this one up. I'm going to show you the last one. So there's three cups in there. We're going to do one more. I'm going to put in half a cup, of, uh, half an onion. I'm not sure what this will measure out to. But again, it's whatever you like. Some salt and pepper, about a quarter of a cup each. And I'm going to add also fresh parsley that Joe grew. And I'm going to put two cups of shredded cheese. Uh, I'm going to today use cheddar cheese. I also sometimes use mozzarella cheese. Sometimes I use Parmesan cheese. So it's whatever you like. So real quick again, just to recap, five eggs, quarter cup of oil, four cups of shredded uh, zucchini, but you can use four to five cups of cheddar, one cup of Bisquick, quarter cup of sour cream, salt and pepper to taste, and my onion. So we'll see you in a little bit. Heated my oven. Okay. We're back, Marianne. Okay, I just preheated my oven to 350. What I have here is I just wanted to show you. I always crack the eggs separate because all you have to do is get one bad egg and you ruin everything. So I crack my eggs separate. I'm slightly beating this up. This is five eggs in here. To the five eggs, I'm going to add my half a cup of oil. I tried to have everything ready for you. That's not olive oil. That's like regular, like regular uh, vegetable, vegetable or corn oil. oil. And you know what I was going to say? Don't go crazy because you know what? Like I would have been thinking, I don't have that shredder thing. Then you know, you just use a, you could cut it up into chunks. You can cut it up into slices. It all, everything works. So you don't have to stress over little things like that. And so, okay, so we have five eggs, half a cup of oil here. The onion that I was showing you before, ended up to be about a cup of an onion. So just for people who want to know. And again, I said to you before, I love this, but you don't have to have this. You can just cut it up to whatever you have. It so, does a good job, but it's, you have to oh clean it up then. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess to <laughs> clean it up, but it works, works. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add, I'm going to a bigger bowl because I know. I grease, this is a actual, this one I always keep forgetting. I kind of just go by I, this is 8 by 11, but you can use a 9 by 9 or a round pan, whatever you have. Okay, we want to get everything out of there, so I'm scooping that out. My cup of Bisquick. This is like magic, this Bisquick. Okay, so I'm putting my cup of Bisquick in. I'm going to beat this up a little bit before. Just to get, I think you can put it in the blender. I can probably put it in that. Ninja, or you know what? I also bought. Oh, I also bought. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I also bought um, one in Christmas tree shop. It was called the Chef Chef Mint, and it was cheap and it worked really well. Okay, I'm just gonna use this to it. Okay, just to. And you know what? The lumps come out in the end, so don't go crazy with you know doing that getting crazy. I just, okay, just going to smush it to just try to get some of the lumps out because I just don't like it. And well, anyway, as I was saying to you before, there's so many different varieties. So you can add pepper to this if you don't want to use all zucchini. I happen to love zucchini and I always look for them. And it's usually a relatively cheap price. I'm going to get some of these lumps out. I don't want it to, do you want to cut it and then come back? Okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> We're back, Miriam. Okay, so I got a little, you'll see there's a little bit of th um, things in there, but not much, the little lumps. So I'm adding a 
my onion, which was about a cup. This is approximately four cups of zucchini. It could be a little bit more. The more, the better, you know, healthier for you. It's probably like four and a half, but four cups is what it does call for. But if you, again, if you wanted to do two cups of zucchini, a cup of tomatoes, a cup of peppers, it all works. So it's kind of whatever you have in your refrigerator. So I'm going to mix this. You're going to see it's going to give you a pretty thick consistency. And then I'm going to add in the, the sour cream. If you don't have the sour cream, don't worry. Make it without it because I also made this. And I didn't use sour cream, so it all does work. Looks good already, right? And you know you what? You wouldn't what, substitute ricotta in there, would you? You know what? One recipe I did, and you're, I think you're going to show that one. I just want to play around with it a little bit more. Remember we were talking about mm -hmm. that one? Yeah. So you're going to... That looks nice, and that's the five eggs. I probably added... might be five cups of... But it doesn't matter. To this, I'm going to add, now I'm using this time two cups, which it, 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 these bags have it exact. It looks like mozzarella, but this one actually is cheddar. But you can use. That's the, white cheddar? White cheddar. You can use um, mozzarella, you can use Parmesan cheese, whatever, you, I, again, whatever you like. I'm going to probably make a few of these to show you because I do like experimenting it myself. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper, and I'm going to put it in that pan, and you're going to, we're going to bake it at uh, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or until it's golden brown. Can I just make a comment? Sure. I, I just wanted to say too, these, uh, you know, these are like uh, quiches, actually, this is zucchini quiche, but it's not like that classic quiche. Marianne will make a spinach quiche for you one day, and it's very, very light. Um, this, because of the bisquick, is a little bit more like dense, right, Mary? Right, it's a, it's a little heavier. That was a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Looks like a lot, right? But when I mix it, and I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to mix it really well. And then I'm, I might add a little bit for my, because you know, from your garden, from the um, of the parsley, and I'll show you when I put it in the pan, so we don't. And this is like, you could have this for a brunch, right? Oh, we've had it for say, lunch, and we've even what? had it for dinner, to tell this you This is truth. really, really good, versatile because, again, you can eat it for breakfast if you wanted to, or you can make it for a nice brunch. Then when we have leftovers, I cut it in cubes, and I've given it to my sister. My nephew, Matthew, loves it. He takes it for lunch. Tina takes it for my sister, takes it for lunch. And then sometimes we use it, we, I'll have it, and we use it as like a side dish if I'm making chicken, and we put a piece of the, you know, the quiche next to it, or this, and again, it's, you'll see now, see, it, it got, it's getting much looser because the zucchini has a lot of water in it, so it does loosen it. I'm just going to add some parsley to it, and we'll be right back, and I'll show you. Okay. Okay, it's on. Okay, so I chopped up the parsley because I wanted to add up, there's a hitchhiker. Chopped up the parsley, and you're, I'm going to show you the batter or I guess it's called a batter, it got much, it's much um, looser. Because you remember when I first put it in, it was very, it felt very thick, like almost pancake-y batter. Okay, just going to mix And if that. you don't use See? fresh parsley, it really makes a big difference from the dried stuff that you buy in the bottle, I think, anyway. I, yeah, I don't, I, I, I use the dry as well. I, yeah, okay. no, I know you do, but I'm saying it, it gives it a different but kind see, of taste. Look at the, see, it's much, it's really, really loose now. And we're going to just pour this in. I already greased. It's a good size, you know. If you make it and you have it's too much, let's get another little paint. You could probably also put this in those little um, cupcakes, tins, and make individual. Maybe I'll try that one day. Make it. I'm sorry, I always have to get every last drop out. That's that, not wasting anything. But those are good. We have a friend that he makes uh, little lasagnas in those little 
what are they, like Pyrex dishes, rich? Oh, yes, yes. And this way, when somebody, he's an older gentleman, and when somebody comes over, he can, like, he keeps them in the freezer, and he just pops them in the oven so that he has right. something to feed right. them. and I think so. sometimes what he does is he prepares it ahead of time. What's good about doing a lot of this stuff here, okay, so this, if you, if you, you have a couple meals out of it, so it's really, really nice. I, whoops, don't film, film that. I just dropped this it's back filmed. it's fine. Okay, but it's right here. We're going to pop it in the oven. Pour, it's on 350 degrees, and we will see you in 45 minutes or so. Okay, and I'm sorry that this is shaking a little because I'm using the iPad today, and it's <laughs> acting up on me, so please excuse that. See you in a little while. Okay, bye, guys. Hi, Mayor. We're back. Hi. I just wanted to show you the finished product of the zucchini quiche. Okay, it was actually puffed up. It was really, really high. I originally said to cook it for 45 minutes. I guess because I had extra large eggs, or I think they were jumbo eggs. So you know what, don't, just go by what you think. When it's a nice golden texture and you feel it puffy, and I put a toothpick in to make sure. But this It comes out dry, it has to come out dry? Well, the toothpick? You know, no, yes, but you, the toothpick in it to make sure. But you know what, just so you know, like one time we went and somebody follows the directions exact. And when that's fine when you follow the directions exact. But if you're depending on your stove and things like that, cheating. Okay, so, oh my God. Oh, it's very good. This actually is delicious and it's delicious the next day and even a day later. So as I said to you before, I'm just gonna show you. We put, you saw that I put a lot of zucchini in, and you can see the zucchini cooks into it and the onion. Okay. Very, very good. The, um, and I can't wait to put this down so I can eat some. The biscuit makes a nice <laughs> crust. But as I said to you before, originally I said 45 minutes. I actually cooked this one for one hour. All right. And it does make um, a nice lunch. It makes a nice brunch breakfast, a side dish, whatever you guys like. All right, I hope you try this recipe as well. Zucchini quiche using Bisquick. Easy, healthy, and delicious. All right, I'm gonna to try to put the uh, recipe down in the description as well. And if you like the video, like it. And don't forget to, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my holiday stuff coming up or all the other things I'm up to and Mary Ann's cooking. Okay, everybody. It's absolutely delicious. Enjoy. See you soon, bye-bye.